Hello everyone, today we're doing a high protein vegan meal prep that's going to cover you for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. We're going to start off with the most basic of meal prep items, which is overnight oats, but we're making protein overnight oats, and these have 31 grams of protein per serving. You're going to get three servings from this. I love overnight oats. I absolutely hate oatmeal, but I love overnight oats. And in my overnight oats, I always love to use rolled oats. We're going to go in with the Ripple Pea Protein Milk. This is top-notch, best non-dairy milk in my opinion. Then we're going to go in with the Dimatize Protein Powder. I also love this protein powder. It's the only one I like. I like to use powdered peanut butter. It makes it easier for things like this. Some maple syrup for sweetness. You can use agave. This is my first time trying this Silk Greek Yogurt, and it's really good. It's super thick and delicious. And I just love that overnight oats are thick and creamy you can add any toppings that you like i always like to just do like blueberries fruit i added some vegan chocolate chips the enjoy life ones so these are really great easy to keep in the fridge for breakfast number two slash a lunch option we're going to make freezer tofu scramble burritos i forgot how much i love tofu scramble this is a great time to be making tofu scramble because I mean, I don't eat eggs, but everyone says the price of eggs is outrageous. So if you're not a vegan, try making some tofu scramble. Here's how I make mine. I add Miyoko's vegan butter and non-dairy milk. We add some garlic powder, turmeric, nutritional yeast, and salt. And we just mix this all up. Let everything cook around. You'll see the turmeric starts to activate because it'll become more yellow. And I love tofu scramble. It's just so easy to make. I'm going to add in some vegan mozzarella. just makes it creamier. And that's it easy peasy done you won't need all this tofu scramble for this recipe so i have leftovers so then i'm going to use these protein tortillas they're really good we're going to add half a slice of vegan cheddar cheese the tofu scramble and then this is the fun part we're going to add some frozen tater tots because these are going right back in the freezer we don't need to cook anything add in a few tofurkey slices and some spinach for your micronutrients and greens and then we're going to cross our fingers and roll this bad boy up I'm not going to lie it ripped i was struggling but we made it work you're going to get three freezer burritos from this actually you can make more if you want it i only made three but since you have so much tofu scramble i like to wrap mine in the foil and then just pop them right in the freezer to reheat you can microwave or put them in a pan or the air fryer or the oven whatever works for you enjoy it with some fruit and these were so good i had this this morning for breakfast i wish i had had hot sauce on the side though i do wish i had hot sauce but it was top-notch delicious for making vegan egg salad same thing different form basically as the tofu scramble we're taking tofu and then instead of cooking it we're going to crumble it right into our little container invest in some fun containers for meal prepping makes things a lot better and crumble it up with your hands and then you're just going to add some vegan mayo i really like this one from hellman's it's really good i did not like regular mayo but now i like vegan mayo better i don't know weird add a bunch of seasonings add anything you like but the turmeric is essential it's going to give it that yellow color that we're looking for nutritional use for that b12 and umami and then that's pretty much it. This is one of the easiest things to make. I make this multiple times a week. I love it. And it's one of my favorite things. I enjoy it with veggies. I'm a sucker for bell peppers and cucumbers. So that's usually what I eat it with. Put on either 647 bread or the Joseph's pita bread. Bam, you got easy lunch and my harvest snap peas on the side usually. And that's it. Easy peasy done. And you'll be getting three servings from that. Next, we're making these lentil and veggie bowls. You're going to get three servings from this as well. This is going to be your first dinner option. So we're going to start it off by taking any veggies that you like, really. I love broccoli. We literally only had this tiny little piece of broccoli in the house. So use that for fresh, but I'm also using frozen broccoli, okay? Don't discredit frozen veggies. They're amazing. I live on frozen veggies. They're really good. They're awesome just to keep around in general and for things like this. Baby potatoes. I love the baby potatoes because I don't have to cut them. They just go right onto the sheet pan. Less work. I have carrots, so we sliced up some carrots as well. I don't like raw carrots, but I love a roasted carrot. Add olive oil, garlic powder, salt, paprika, like whatever seasonings you like. You don't have to follow my seasonings. Keep it you know use what you have use what you like give everybody a little shake and we're gonna pop those in the oven for like 30 minutes just until everything is softened and good we're gonna cook up some black lentils these cook up really quickly and they're really soft and tender i really like them they're delicious and they look so cool and then i'm gonna cook up a packet of white rice don't worry this is completely vegan even though it says it's creamy parmesan style we're vegan it's vegan it's all good i really like the right rice but of course you could always use a regular rice if you want of course that'll give you less protein but if you don't care about the protein who cares use regular rice use quinoa use anything you like but i do really like the right rice you're just gonna cook it to package directions it's super easy it's kind of like cooking couscous and then my veggies are done so those are going into a container i let all the veggies cool but anything that was cooked and hot is going into a glass container that's pretty important 
live by that rule if you're meal prepping. We're gonna mix our rice and lentils just because I wanted to condense containers, but if you don't want to, you can keep them separate too. It's whatever you like to do. I just added a little garlic powder, but the risotto, the right rice risotto has a lot of flavor in there. This is a copycat chipotle honey vinaigrette. It's not honey, obviously, but I've been seeing it everywhere. It's down below. And yeah, so I just put that on top and that was delicious. For our other dinner, we're making a freezer vegan sausage pasta. This is gonna give you two servings. The reason that I like to make a freezer meal is because when I meal prep, sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing and then I don't wanna have all this food go to waste. Also, like, I don't really like to meal prep for more than three days in advance. So I like to have like three servings that can go in the fridge and then stuff that can be frozen using chickpea pasta this is my first time trying this one it's really good we are going to take two field roast sausages i thought i had the italian ones but these are smoked apples so a little bit of a different flavor in there but it should be good and we're just going to cook that up until it gets nice and crispy we're going to add in more spinach more nutrients you're going to add in pasta and always add in a little bit of pasta water this gives your sauce something to stick to it also helps to wilt your spinach up quicker add in your tomato sauce and then i fill that up again with a little more water i like to add in more liquid for frozen things that way as it freezes and like sucks up the moisture and then you thaw it back out again it's not like completely dried out and kind of nasty and then i also adding in some more vegan mozzarella because it makes it creamy and delicious popping that into a glass container we'll let that cool out before we freeze it and that'll be really good you're just gonna have to thaw this before you reheat it again and then for snack or dessert we're gonna make these cinnamon roll muffins delish so i'm using the gonanas cinnamon roll banana bread mix so good so you need to just take ripe bananas mash them up and then I'm really just following the directions on here. It's really not that hard to do. We're gonna go back in with that silk yogurt, delicious, yummy maple syrup, and then some of the more of the protein milk, the pea protein milk, and mix it on up. I like to always add in protein where I can, so we're adding vanilla protein powder. We're gonna add that in, and that's really it. You're just gonna mix it all up. This was a little dry because we added in more powdered stuff, so you're gonna add in a little bit of water just to help moisten it back up again and then you're just going to pop it into your muffin tin i like to use silicone muffin liners because they come out really easily and they're reusable so i'll link them down below for you bake them up and there you go you got your dessert and or snack or both whatever you like to do and that is it so now you're gonna have four breakfast you're gonna have three servings of the overnight oats and you're gonna have one tofu scramble burrito you're gonna have five lunches which will be three servings of the egg salad and then two frozen burritos five dinners which is going to be three of the lentil veggie bowls and two of the freezer sausage pasta and then you have your snacks and your muffins and that's it. All ingredients are written out down below. If you like these videos, make sure to leave a comment. Leave me a like. Let me know so I know to do more meal prep stuff. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye.